Our journey begins in ancient China, where the Lung or Chinese dragon reigns supreme. Unlike the fire-breathing behemoths of Western tales, the Lung is a creature of serpentine grace and celestial power. With its long, winding body and magnificent antler-like horns, the Lung symbolizes wisdom, prosperity, and imperial authority. In Chinese mythology, dragons were revered as bringers of rain, essential for agriculture and prosperity. They were protectors of the celestial realms, often depicted ascending to the heavens in a dance of elegance and power. Yet, despite their benevolent nature, the lung was not without its weaknesses. According to legend, the dragon's most vulnerable spot lay not in its fearsome jaws or armored scales, but in a small pearl held beneath its chin. Possession of this pearl granted power over the dragon, a tempting prize for mortals bold enough to seek it. Turning our gaze westward, we encounter the wyvern, a creature steeped in European lore and legend. Unlike the lung, the wyvern is a fierce creature, often depicted with the body of a dragon and the wings of a bat. In the dark forests and misty mountains of Europe, wyverns were said to guard hidden treasures and ancient secrets. Legends speak of knights and adventurers braving treacherous caverns and perilous cliffs in search of wyvern hordes. Yet, these creatures were not invincible. The wyvern's weakness lay in its inability to breathe fire like its larger cousins. Instead, it relied on brute strength and cunning to protect its precious treasures. In some tales, a single well-placed strike to its vulnerable wings could bring the wyvern crashing to the earth, defeated by the bravery of mortal heroes. Venturing further into the icy realms of Norse mythology, we encounter Fafnir, a dragon born of greed and tragedy. Once a mighty dwarf prince, Fafnir's insatiable lust for gold and power transformed him into a fearsome dragon of immense size and strength. In the saga of Sigurd the Dragon Slayer, Fafnir is depicted as a monstrous serpent, his body coiled around a vast hoard of treasure. Yet, this wealth brought only misery and loneliness to Fafnir, who became a symbol of the destructive power of greed. Despite his formidable form, Fafnir had a vulnerability born of his own tragic downfall. A small spot on his belly, untouched by scales, was his only weakness. It was here that Sigurd struck the fatal blow, piercing Fafnir's heart and ending the dragon's reign of terror. Our journey takes us across the ocean to the ancient lands of the Aztecs, where we encounter Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent of creation and destruction. Revered as a god of wind, air, and learning, Quetzalcoatl's appearance was a blend of serpent and bird, with vibrant feathers shimmering in the sunlight. Unlike the fierce dragons of European tales, Quetzalcoatl embodied both creation and destruction, representing the cyclical nature of life and death. As a bringer of rain and fertility, he was celebrated by the Aztec people. However, Quetzalcoatl also possessed a darker aspect, as a force of chaos and upheaval. In Aztec mythology, his downfall came not from physical weakness, but from his own inner turmoil and conflicts. As we conclude our journey through the origins of dragons, we see that these mythical creatures are far more than mere monsters. They embody the hopes and fears of humanity, reflecting our deepest desires and our darkest impulses. From the celestial wisdom of the Chinese lung to the tragic greed of the Norse Fafnir, each dragon tells a story of power, vulnerability, and the eternal struggle between mortals and gods. So, the next time you hear the distant roar of thunder or catch a glimpse of a shooting star, remember the dragons of myth and legend. They may be creatures of fantasy, but their stories endure, woven into the tapestry of our shared human experience. As we continue to explore the mysteries of our world, let us never forget the dragons that dwell in the shadows, waiting to be discovered once more. Thank you for joining me on this mythical quest. Until next time, may your dreams be filled with dragons and your adventures be legendary.